Hello there, so I noticed there was no room tour for the new Novotel on Melbourne Central so I have decided to kindly provide all of you with a room tour of the double bed standard room at the Novotel on Melbourne Central. Alright, let's get going. So as soon as you walk in you're greeted with the bathroom which is right here. It is an open bathroom so I would recommend staying with either somebody you're like comfortable with or by yourself because it is open no door whatsoever so you have toilet standard kind of small and then next to it you also have the shower which is one of them double head showers because we all love those so you've got rain up there and then you've got your standard kind of one you can pull and there's a switcher there and then you have your sink. So this one comes with a mirror. It has a like a two times zoom and then ooh, a normal zoom. So good for shaving and makeup. Very good, I recommend it. I own one personally. Then we have the normal mirror. I don't know what to say about it. It's tall. Sink. And you also get your amenities and stuff to get your soap, the shower gel, shampoo, conditioner, as well as a shower cap and a sanitary bag. Then you've got tissues and towels. And then down here is where you'll find your big towels and your towels to wash your hands with and you and when you first walk in you do get a towel for the floor but I've already put that down so then once you've been to the bathroom you walk into kind of like the main area so mine, my room's a little smaller than some of the other ones but it's fine for like one person so here you just have a place to put your bag it's nice and long so looks like you can fit one and a half bags my bag's not too tall and then below you have the ironing board over here is the cupboard. Now one thing, one thing that's interesting is it's very short. So if you are hanging suits, I do recommend trying to find somewhere to put them because this is short, too short for a suit bag. And then up there we've got some more storage. And you've got your safe, which is, I haven't opened it but it looks big. Um, iron and a hairdryer. Now when we turn around to the bed, we have some pretty neato stuff. So this is a really nice hotel. So either side of the bed you have a two, two outlets and then one USB outlet. I really love having a USB outlet because if you have loads of cord like, cords like me then you can use USBs. So then you have your standard bedside lamp which just flicks on with that down there. And then you have your reading lamp. And there is no switch for this, but it is pretty good at moving. The switch is here, but it's activated with the light. Then each room also has, which is, this is really nice, it's a JBL alarm clock. So it's got Bluetooth features, all that stuff, and it looks really great. Now we get to the TV. I won't turn it on because it does show that I'm, and I don't want to give away my name. So just pretend it's on. But what's nice about these ones is there is Chromecast. So means you can watch YouTube, Netflix, probably Stan, Hulu, I don't know, whatever else. As long as you as long as it's a Chromecast logo, then you are fine. And then we turn around over here to the next bedside. The only thing that's different about this one is it has the phone, standard hotel phone, has all you need. Guest services, restaurant, in-room dining, housekeeping, reception, emergency. It's everything. Haven't used it because I don't use those things. But you'll also find the remote, which does light up. So, you know, if you're watching TV and it's dark, you can see everything. And then a little notepad and pen to jot down whatever you want. Also, I forgot to mention there. But it is the same stuff over here, so you do have the two power outlets and the USB connection, as well as the switches. These two set off the uh, 
main light and the bathroom light, but not the second bathroom light. Just note that the second bathroom light is at the front. We will get to that. And then down here, there is a few more switches. There's one for the phone and then there's just two standard ones. So they do not have a USB outlet, but if you want to just put your standard Australian outlets on there, you can. And now it's the mini bar. So this is a pretty kitted out mini bar. It doesn't have like everything like some hotels do. And just for anyone who's a fan of hot chocolate, there is no hot chocolate. But we do have four things of Dilma, two salon breakfast, one gentle minty and a gentle chamomile. This is a uh, decaf, blend 43, as well as white sugar and what I presume is sweetener. You get two wine glasses, two normal glasses, but I'm using one of them, two, two teacups and two plates and then two spoons for that. And then um, you also have the kettle, which you can just plug in over here, which is another one of the um, outlets, which has the two outlets and the USB. So there's plenty of USB space if USBs are more your flow. And then down here we have the fridge. In comparison to normal mini bar fridges, there is nothing in it. So you do have to order from the hotel if you do want to get stuff. But in here automatically there will be some milk. And that's mine. But can I say I do recommend these things. They are, it's Pocky, uh, Pocker, not Pocky. Uh, it's iced, iced lychee tea. It is amazing. I love it and I 10 out of 10 do recommend. I love this stuff. So we're staying on the Novotel half of the hotel. So this hotel is half Ib Ibis and then half Novotel. So it's perfect if you're in a core member and it's pretty beautiful. So the all the Novotel rooms, they're on, I think, floor 29 plus. So you're going to get good views, but if you don't care about your view and you want something slightly cheaper, then the Ibis is good for you. And I think the rooms are fairly similar. I'm not sure, haven't looked. But here's the view daytime, because I did post a video last night. It won't be last night for you, probably like last week. That showed it at night with all the lights. But as per usual, it's raining. You guys can't see it, thank God, but it's raining in Melbourne. What a surprise. Oh, and just quickly. So in terms of curtains, you just have like your standard light curtain, which you can see through. And then you have your thick curtain. I don't know what to describe it. It's like a block out because you've got like, there's two pieces rather than one here. And then you also have like your mirror for all your mirror purposes. I don't know what the hell you'd use this for. And now we also have the couch. So I think all the standard double rooms have this. But this was on the bed to start with, but I moved it here. It's just the in room service menu. So it shows everything you can get and what times it's available from. And does that have a kids menu? No, it doesn't. Parents note that if you want a kids menu, there is no kids menu to be found here. But you also have a nice thing to describe the chef. I'm not too sure what to say there. We'll ignore my laptop. And then, so, so get the wear magazine. Not all rooms had this. My room didn't, so, but I picked it up. And there's a table which I found a bit hard to move. But there's like, you get like three pillows on it. That pillow, the long skinny legend pillow which was from the bed. Better move there. Cool. Then finally, what should have been first, we have what you first see when you get in. So you have the thermostat, which you can change to either cool, oh, cool or heat. You can change the fan level, the temperature, set whatever that means and you can just turn it off. I'm giving mine, I don't know, it's 22.4. Then you have the light card. This comes, this is this was already in here when we came in, so basically that just activates your lights and your cooling. And then you have the three switches. So this first one is for that light. The second one is for the light at the very end there, which is which looks horrific on the camera, but it's very pretty. And then your final light. It's just the, ooh, it's not dropped the camera, the light, that's 
Love you. And then the cool thing about this hotel is you have a do not disturb and a makeup room button. So there's like a little doorbell thing at the front of your room and there's two lights at the side, one's for do not disturb and one's for makeup room. So if you want to if you want your room done, the people can go come and do it. Or if you would like to not be disturbed, then you can do that. I unfortunately didn't do that, I don't know. The <laughs> maze came around. Oof. But then on the door, you get one of these. Because instead of having the normal do not disturb door hangers, it's that, which is nice. And it's just the menu one. You have your evacuation diagram. And that's pretty much it to this room. So let's do a little final sweep. Bathroom, toilet, shower, sink, bed, TV, view. All right, so I hope you guys found that helpful. If you were choosing a hotel to stay in Melbourne, I definitely do recommend this one. This is one of my favorites now. The only time I've said it, but it is a very beautiful hotel and I do recommend it. Bye.